What's up y'all? Welcome back to another video. My name is Jalen if you're new here and if you're not new, hey. So as y'all can see from the title and the thumbnail and everything, we are doing a little Valentine's Day video um, talking about all things self-love and self-care. This video is really catered towards the girls who might be, or the guys, I don't discriminate, or the gays, whoever, <laughs> who might be spending Valentine's Day alone this year. Um, or just even if you're not like you know it's just self-care self-love anybody need that whether you got a partner or not you gotta love yourself so we're just gonna be chit-chatting I got a couple of questions um, and topics to talk about um, I did ask on my Instagram for people to drop some questions and stuff so I will be answering those and maybe throwing in some stuff that did nobody ask me but I just want to say anyway but yeah we'll see um, <laughs> so if you want to keep watching stay tuned then make sure you do that um like comment and subscribe and let's get into the video so as y'all can see i got my wine and it's very fitting very fitting this is oh i didn't even put the top on it y'all this is tropical cranberry moscato y'all can see that and it's by luca bosio bosio something so yeah, my aunt had got me like five of those five of those for my birthday or for Christmas. For Christmas. She got me two of them for my birthday and then she ran it back for Christmas and got me five more. Um and it's so good. It's not like a regular red wine. It's not like dry or anything. It's just like a fruity type of vibe. And the alcohol percentage is real low. So, you know, nothing crazy, but just just cute for the vibes, little Valentine's Day vibe. Sorry I don't have on anything pink. I don't really own anything pink. Do I? Hmm. Let's just get into the questions or whatever. So the first question that somebody asked was, what does happiness mean to you or mean to me? Um, so happiness to me is just like waking up every day and just feeling content and proud of yourself and accomplished in your um, in your life, in your career, with your family, your friends, your relationship. If you're in a relationship, it's Valentine's Day. We're not in relationships. Um, <laughs> but whatever it is, like, that's what happiness is to me. Just everything's not going to be perfect all the time. You're, you and your friends are going to argue. You and your family are going to argue. You're going to fight. You know what I'm saying? Your career might not be going the greatest, you know, whatever, all the time. But when you just feel like I'm doing all that I can, and I'm being the best that I can and, I, and you wake up every day and you're proud of yourself every day that's happiness to me you know um, just being proud of yourself and being happy and content with the life that you're living or the life that you're building for yourself that's what makes me happy the next one is how do you pick yourself up how do you pick yourself back up when you're down um I just a while ago not a while ago a couple years ago I just kind of like started working towards changing my mindset about a lot of things about how I deal with things how I let things affect me how I dwell on things or try not to dwell on things so just saying to myself like is this something that you can change and if I can't let it go if I can do what I can to change it or fix it or make it better that's all you can do I can't I'm only in control of what I can do I'm only in control of my emotions I'm only in control of my feelings and my actions I'm not in control of nobody else I'm not in control of the weather I'm not in control of if my car break down I'm not in control of that you know so it's like if you know allow I allow myself to feel what I feel in that moment if I gotta cry it out if I gotta cry it out, I'ma cry it out. If that's what I gotta do, that's what I gotta do. And then I just say, it is what it is. Like, I just gotta keep going. This question is, what are some self-care techniques that help you get through the day? Um, hold on, let me take a little sip. I think a self-care technique that helped me get through the day is just like, I don't even know if this is really a self-care technique, but just like, keeping a smile on my face. Not to... If something get on my nerves or something make me mad, I just laugh it off. That's one thing. I'm going to say that. Laughing. That's the technique for me. Just laughing it off. You know, laugh. What, what is the saying? Laugh so you don't cry? Yeah. <laughs> so the next question was my thoughts on 
thoughts on hours and hours this valentine's day the song hours and hours by is it money long because my mama asked me the other day what's the girl who sang hours and hours and i was like i don't know how to say her name i think it's muni or mooney or something like that because it's m-u-n-i but then I, I heard on the radio they was playing it on the radio the other day and it was like yeah hours and hours by money long and i was like she's that girl if that's really how you say it money long goodbye and and this these are my thoughts on hours and hours her money gonna be long because everybody gonna play that we already been playing it out tiktok ig reels just playing it in general they play it all over the radio and this valentine's day them them people finna be going for hours and hours so they finna be playing that song for hours and hours her money gonna be long for real that's that's my thoughts on it okay so shout out to her next one is gift a gift idea for somebody who is spending valentine's day alone so send yourself some flowers i wish i had did this i wish i had thought about sending myself flowers because i literally would have ordered flowers and had them delivered to my house for myself with a note on it for myself <laughs> like i would have did that it's a little too late to do that now I'm gonna buy myself flowers for Valentine's Day. I plan on buying other people flowers for Valentine's Day. So like, why not myself? You know. Um. So that's a good one. You know, flowers are perfect for Valentine's Day. Like that's like the staple. Nice perfume or something would be a good Valentine's Day gift. That perfume that you've been looking at, that you've been saving up for, that you've been waiting to get. Perfect time to go to the mall or go wherever Sephora, whatever, and. Buy yourself that perfume you've been wanting. Do something that makes you feel good this Valentine's Day. Like I said, if you're spending it alone, I know it might seem a little lonely. Because Instagram gonna make you feel so lonely. <laughs> they just gonna make you feel so lonely. But it's okay. Like, you don't have to be, just because you're not in a relationship doesn't mean you have to be lonely. Or you have to be alone. But if you want to be alone this Valentine's Day, I think take yourself out to dinner or lunch or something is a nice gift for yourself um so yeah that's my those are my gift ideas for somebody who's spending valentine's day alone and a nice glass of wine go buy you a bottle of wine next question is my favorite place to go to to enjoy favorite place to go to why can't i read favorite place to go to enjoy your quality time with yourself honestly i would say my room my bedroom i don't have nowhere outside that i go to spend quality time with myself in the summertime i do or like when it gets warm outside i do like going outside and just sitting outside in the quiet you know what i'm saying just listen because i live in the country i don't know if y'all know that but i live in the country i live on a little back road little cornfield across the way trees all over the place you know so it's real peaceful it's real you know you can just hear everything the birds chirping and you just see the little animals flying around and walking around and crawling around doing whatever like that is so peaceful to me and so like you know so that's something I do like to do um to enjoy quality time with myself just sit outside by myself not saying nothing not on my phone just looking around you know just soaking up the sun and looking at nature you know but i mean it's when that time i'm not going outside to do all that and it's not cute outside right now for real for real um so right now i was just in my room i wish i had something cuter and better and more aesthetic to say but right now my room when i want to be by myself come in my room close my door and just chill like my hookah give me some wine you know what i'm saying just be by myself have a nice quality time by myself watching some youtube i love watching youtube so yeah that's how i spend time with myself quality time with myself in the winter time in the house in the summertime sitting outside in nature and just you know soaking up the sun giving a little vibe so this is a good one self-care acts without spending money um i would say like doing your hair like getting up in the morning on a weekend or a day off like today getting up doing your makeup doing your hair or i mean if you don't do makeup whatever do your hair put on something cute but chill you know what i'm saying i got a little bodysuit and some leggings and just feel good even if you're just in the house even if you're just going to run errands like i feel like that's a good way to 
you know for self-care without necessarily spending money also like just taking a drive i know a lot of people like to go take a drive listen to some music and i mean i guess you still gotta spend money because you gotta put gas in your car if you burn up all your gas driving around but you get what i'm saying a lot of people just like to take some long drives just listen to some music bye bye by themselves another self-care act i would say is like reading a book or something or writing down in your journal writing in a journal is self-care you need a journal you need to write it down you need to write it out cry it out while you're writing whatever you got to do get a journal if you don't got a journal get a journal okay that make that your plans for valentine's day if you don't got a man or you don't got a girl or whatever and you're spending valentine's day by yourself go buy you a little cheap journal out of marshall's or target or something i mean target they might be expensive girl buy you a dollar notebook out of walmart or something make that your journal get a cute one out of marshall's it'll make you feel better but i mean whatever you got to do whatever you got to do if you need a dollar one out of walmart or the dollar store whatever do what you got to do but that is self-care that is a big one without spending money reading a book or writing in a journal self-care without spending money you just feel so good you'll feel so smart after you read a book <laughs> you'll feel like a scholar you know what i'm saying so yeah self-care without spending money actions to take towards loving yourself um I feel like it's kind of hard to answer that. I mean, not hard to answer that, but it's so different for everybody. I mean, self-love is different for everybody, so it's all going to be different. All of these answers are like my opinions, basically, but I feel like some actions towards loving yourself is just trying to build your confidence. Show up every day as the best version of yourself. Don't worry about... Um, thinking that because you're not in a relationship you're not it's something wrong with you don't have your worth be attached to a man right or be attached to a relationship or you know or your happiness be attached to that so know that you're valuable as a person and you're loved as a person no matter how many friends you have no matter what kind of family you come from no matter how much money you make or what kind of job you have like you as a person like you are loved you deserve love you are a loving person so it's like it don't matter about all the materialistic things and all the other things that we use to equate value to people's lives right so i feel like that's a way to take action towards loving yourself just separate yourself from it all and look at you and just know that you're a good person regardless of what's going on around you um and also i mean i don't know if that's really an action or if that's just like a mindset thing but yeah taking care of yourself accountability for yourself doing your skincare routine doing your um your body care your hygiene routine you know making yourself look presentable all the time showing up with your head held high just being the best version of yourself that you can be those are actions that's going to go towards you loving yourself because when like i said when you make a habit you're you know it's, it's gonna become a habit you're gonna feel like that if you wake up every day like i'm that girl one day you're really gonna feel like that but it, in yourself it's not on you baby it's in you okay so build that build those habits and build those um self-care techniques and everything you have to do those things you got to do the work you know you have to do the work you got to do the real hard nitty gritty you got to get down and dirty and really figure out what it is about yourself that you don't love what you do love what you know things situation that you continuously see yourself getting into and figure out why you got to do the work that's that's the first step to to loving yourself you have to do the work so it's i can't really say these are the steps that you take you just have to do the work i almost ended this video but i just realized that we had a few more questions on instagram okay so we're gonna finish the rest of these questions i got like Maybe like six or seven more or maybe more than that. I don't know. Somebody asked, what is a good solo date idea? So I would say taking yourself out to dinner, getting cute, super dressed up. I feel like that's a basic one, everybody, you know. But for real, getting cute, getting dressed up, going out to dinner, that's something that I want to do. I've never done that. I've never gotten dressed up and went out to eat and sat in a restaurant by myself. But I feel like that's a good solo day. I know I would enjoy that thoroughly. I think like on a nice day, going to a park or something and just sitting out, have your little blanket, have your little, maybe a little food, little picnic basket or something, and reading a book or writing in a journal or something, 
or even just being on your phone like whatever you know everything don't have to be so like deep down writing down all your feelings and stuff or reading the you know it don't have to be that you could just be on your phone like whatever just have a day to yourself have a little time to yourself sit outside whatever i mean it's cold right now but i feel like spring i can smell spring in the air it's on the way a coffee shop date you know go to a little coffee shop have your little computer or something or just your phone again and just get you a little coffee get you a little drink and just sit in a little coffee shop and just people watch you know i feel like that's a good solo date idea that's something that i would do so the next question is how to make time for self-care. They had another part to the question too, but I kind of already answered. I think it was like self-care tips or something. Cause I had to I had to write all my questions down if you didn't realize. Cause obviously I record on my phone, so I can't see the questions and film at the same time. So I'll be having to write them down. But yeah. Um, so how to make time for self-care. Um, I don't know. You just have to make time for it. Like if making yourself feel good is a priority to you which I hope that it is you just have to make time like you just like I said every day when you get up in the morning do your skincare routine make time for that get up in early enough this is me speaking to myself this is me giving advice to myself get up early enough in the morning to where you can do your skincare routine and take a shower if you take your showers in the morning or whatever or if you just like taking another shower in the morning to get you woken up or awake whatever I don't know um but yeah give yourself that time in the morning to do those things to do your self-care to make yourself breakfast to have time before work or before you start your day to just chill and relax you just have to make that time and same thing at night like when you get off work or you get home after running errands all day or if you have kids or whatever it is like how to make it a routine a habit it's just a habit thing just building that habit to do it every day I feel like when I'm saying this stuff and answering people questions, I'm talking to myself too. I be needing to hear this stuff too. I'm over here trying to tell y'all like I'm, no, I'm talking to myself too. I'm giving myself advice. <laughs> um, so self-care faves was the next one. So some of my self-care faves, I love those little exfoliation, um, those little exfoliating gloves, exfoliating mitts that I showed in my last, um, in my little hygiene vlog. So if you want to see some like self-care type items like you know body stuff or like skin stuff go check out that video i'll link it um but yeah i love those i love um my little body oil when i get out the shower i love that you know putting on my little lotion and stuff um and then also i've said it before a journal journal is a good self-care you know even if it's just like a planner if you need like a calendar even if it's not necessarily a journal if you don't want to actually journal but you do still want to have something that you can write in you can plan stuff out you can check off your list when you get things done or whatever stuff like that I feel like is super super like important for self-care and keeping yourself on track and keeping yourself in habits and stuff like that and just getting out your feelings out if it's a journal or whatever so that's a good one I would say that those are like my self-care faves having a journal I have both I have a journal and I have a planner I have been slacking on my planner um, I'll be journaling here and there I'll be slacking on that too but yeah I have both and I live by both okay I love them so this next one isn't a question it says I want to be in a relationship but I don't it's weird I'll be sick of niggas <laughs> I feel you sis I feel you um if you don't want to be in a relationship don't be in a relationship like I mean if you want to I feel like maybe it's just like you haven't met the right person that's you know you're just like mm, I would want to be in a relationship if it was the right person but you niggas is not the right person like I feel like that's probably what it is and I feel like that's what it is for a lot of people you know some people they'll be in a relationship five different relationships in a year like they're always in a relationship but some people like me I can't tell you the last time I was in a real relationship I mean my most recent probably the realest thing I ever been in and that ain't even last so I don't know <laughs> we think because we're we're this age we're 24 we're 23 24 like you know in that age range between like 21 and 25 that we're supposed to be in a relationship we're supposed to be about to have kids and get married and all this type of stuff like we're so young you don't you don't have to be in a relationship it's okay don't feel the pressure to be in a relationship loving yourself after a toxic situation so I've been in a toxic situation before like two years ago 
Um, and it like broke me down, y'all. Like, I was real down bad. Like, emotionally, I just felt so like not the greatest. Um, it was just wasn't, you know, it was like very emotionally draining for me that whole situation. And I just felt like I wasn't good enough or I wasn't pretty enough for him or I wasn't this or whatever like you know so very toxic situation the most toxic probably the only really toxic situation I've ever been in like every other situation was just like this nigga not shit but <laughs> with him it was really like toxic for real um but yeah so loving yourself after that you have to go through the motions okay like you gonna have to go through it you're gonna have to cry you're gonna have to feel like shit it's, you're just gonna have to go through that and then once you get that all out and that's gonna take a while because toxic situations they take a little while to get over you know what I'm saying I still look back on that situation sometimes and it's still kind of like you know it's still kind of hurt a little bit because it's, it's stuff those are things like traumatic experiences people don't think that bad relationships are traumatic unless you're getting beat up or something by your significant other but like emotion thing like relationships can be emotionally traumatic so like you're still gonna replay those situations in your head so it's gonna take a while to get over um it's gonna take a while to undo the things that were done to you or the feelings that you felt and you might not ever really undo them depending on how toxic it was and how bad the situation was but like i said you're just gonna have to go through it cry through it sleep through it a little bit like you gotta you gotta do what you gotta do and then after that look at yourself and be like now i gotta boss up on a nigga like not even boss up on a nigga boss up on yourself okay forget forget trying to stun on a nigga or stun on him and his new girl or stun on forget all that boss up on yourself okay i can't say like exactly how you gotta do it it was different for me it's gonna be different for the next person it's gonna be different for you but like just do the work work on yourself work on building your crafts work on if you do anything if you you know work on getting back to the things that made you feel good before that relationship you know so i think that'll help you get through that if you're going through that right now you're gonna be okay boo next one is things you love or the thing you love most about yourself um i think the thing that i love most about myself which is something i've actually like recently like maybe within the past year or so six months to a year that I've started to really appreciate about myself is my ability to like see things for what they are like take my feelings out of it and just look at things objectively and not judge one side versus the other just because I feel a certain way about one side of it you know what I'm saying I feel like I'm able to look at a situation for what it is and not I mean not all the time we all have our biases about certain stuff but I feel like in general I'm able to take my emotions out of it and just look at a situation for what it is and just make a decision on it or if it's not a decision for me to make it's just a situation that I'm observing like I'm able to like not judge one side versus the other especially if i don't know all the facts or all the background it's like you don't know what happened you don't know what was really said if you wasn't there for the whole situation if you it's like i can't i'm not finna make no decision about that i'm not finna make no opinion about that i don't care because i wasn't there to really see it i'm just seeing the surface level i feel like a lot of people can't do that a lot of people can't look at something and be like oh well, i don't really know all the facts so i can't say nothing about it or i can't speak on it a lot of people just speak on it you know and i mean i do it too about certain stuff we all do it but i feel like for the most part that's something that i realized about myself that i'm able to just look at things for what they are take myself out of it you know and just look at things objectively without judgment of one side or the other you know practicing self-love okay so i didn't write this exactly down how she said it because i was just hurrying up and jotting it down <laughs> so but she said something to the effect of practicing self-love and self-care with the influence of social media um it can be hard because you see you see so many things and you hear so many things on social media that you feel like 
I have to be this way or I should look this way I should dress this way I should do this easier said than done but try not to compare yourself to those people or to those things it's like just do you especially like when you feel like you just compare yourself all day long to people on social media what people look like what their hair look like what they makeup look like what clothes they got on what they body look like so it can be hard when you're constantly like bombarded with the influence of social media telling you this is what you should look like this is how you should dress this is what you should be doing this is what it can be hard but you just have to ground yourself and balance yourself we're gonna compare ourselves i can't even say don't compare yourself you're gonna compare yourself to people like you are just don't make a habit of it you know what i'm saying don't make a habit of looking on social media and being like this is what I should be doing, this is what I should look like, this is how I should dress, this is da 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 Don't make a habit of it. Take things that you see as motivation and inspiration. Don't take it as, I have to be like this. Take it and be like, okay, I can apply that to my life. Or, okay, I can do this. You know, she doing it, you know, she making it look real easy. You know, I can do it too. Like, I'm that girl too. Your last question I have is, what is my definition of love? such a good question to end off this video my definition of love is this is whether for yourself or for other people doing things that make your life easier and more pleasant for the people that you love like when your man fills up your tank for you or you know that it take you a long time to get ready in the morning so you do what you need to do at night so when you get up in the morning everything's already ready that's love you know what I'm saying it's like doing things that just make things easier for you and your significant other and the people in your lives and also holding people accountable like holding yourself accountable holding the people in your lives accountable that's love like if you let somebody just go around and just not be a good person or just do stupid stuff or do this that and the third where's the love like and even for yourself when you know that you not doing what you're supposed to be doing but you out here acting like you the best person ever that's not love like you got to be real with yourself being real and being honest and being raw with yourself and the people in your life that's love to me and that is my definition of love that is the last question i really hope y'all enjoyed this video i really enjoy filming this video even though it was so last minute i didn't have any plans of filming this video but here i am and yeah i really hope y'all enjoyed it and i just want to say thank you to everybody who dropped a question or a topic um and thank you to everybody who's watching and who subscribes and everything like that so i hope y'all enjoyed it and i hope to see y'all in my next video